Great here. Welcome back to Tome. Another death, another day. Well, after the death of uh, Duvar, we get to start over. That's the joy, joy of roguelikes. So, I have played a dwarven something, berserker I think it was, and a human, I believe it was a Kornak, no, just a higher, no, Kornak, Kornak Bulwark. Um, I'm not sure what I want to play next. So what I'm going to do is I am going to hit uh, random five times and we'll see what we get. Halfling cursed. Stat modifier strength. Halfling doesn't have good strength. So hmm. I'll stick with cursed, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip back over to... Oh, what's a good one? Let's go with the uh, Thalor Elf. Uh, Thalor gets plus two strength, plus three dexterity, minus two magic, and a cursed uh, is looks like it's strength and willpower. And Thalor gets also plus one willpower. So this looks like a, a good pairing. Thalor cursed. And let's uh, go for a male, a kind. I like that. Akin the the lore cursed, I believe it's called. So here we're going to get to see the beginning in the uh, Elven section. So let's uh, undo all of this because I haven't hit that. Uh, uh, no, I can't unlearn that talent. What is this? Cursed. Uh, your body strength is fed by your hatred. It's a passive. This causes most forms of healing to be 50% effective. 200% effective at hate, so the more I hate, the more effective my healing is. After each kill, you store the waning life forces to invigorate yourself, restoring life. Uh, okay, so... So basically, I heal from killing. Got it. Okay. Uh, I've reset all my points, except for this one, obviously. Uh, let's see, cunning is... Cunning... Mm -hmm. So our primary stats are willpower and strength. So I'm going to dump two of those, and also then one into uh, constitution for health. Let's get uh, better points on our weapon mastery. I know I took points out of that just to put it back in, but there you go. And let's see, call with the elementals, increasing all damage by 12% and reducing all damage taken by 12% for five turns. How far can I push this? I can push Cursed once more. And it bases off of willpower. Uh, so let's let's do that. I only want the one point in the Wrath of the Woods. We'll, we'll see if I want to revisit that later. Endless Hunt. When you focus your attacks on a single foe... Oh, this one is basically the more you attack uh, a particular creature in a row, the the more accurate you get, the more damage you do. Okay. Strife. Unable to move. Curse. Gloom. Gloom is basically an AoE. So, and then, okay, so I want one in each of these. This is the, the basic attack power. This will give me um, buffs when I attack the same target, and Gloom is basically just an AoE that hurts everything around me. Well, not hurts. Uh, slow, stun, confuses, all of that stuff. Uh, let's just double up on that one. There we go. Yes, I want to accept the changes. So here's the lore for the elves. Pause if you want to read it. Okay. Uh, let me set up all my stuff here. Let's see what I've got. Where are my sustains? Okay, stock. I need to put over here. And that's my attack, which I want there. This is a defense, which I want to put here. Come on. Come on. There we go. And this is my other sustain. So let's get... Stock up first. 
There we go. Get my two sustains going. Let's hope I don't uh, die right off the bat, because that would be embarrassing. Okay. So looks like we're outdoors facing snakes and worms and slimes. Okay, Cursed Faith. The acidic iron maze flying near you catches your attention, which draws you to not think itself with something burning inside of you. You feel content for it in all worldly things. This is what the curse does. Release your hate upon the object. What this does is it curses everything that you pick up. And whatever that curse is, here it's the curse of corpses. Um... Uh, the, the, the more of a particular curse that you have, the more you get buffs out of it. You start off with negatives, and then it gets more and more powerful after that. I'll, I'll highlight it when I get, uh, get actually get more. Let's see. No, I want to I want to stick... And, and it curses everything that I've got. So, let's see. Yeah, so now my Battle Axe has Madness on it, and... Does it look like my armor has a curse yet? I think I think oh that's right. The more that I that I put into curses, the more items can get cursed. That's what it is. So the other thing is I want to use this so I can have my heals. There we go. A skeleton. Yeah. In fact, let's let's look at the curse over here. It should be there. It is the curse of madness. So fractured sanity, negative three mind resistance, negative four uh, confusion. But if I get one more of this, I now get uh, I would get plus three critical damage, plus four offhand weapon damage. The sec uh, third level of curse gives me kind of a negative and a positive. You you can see how it goes. It, it basically the more I go into one particular curse line, the more powerful it gets in a certain way. It's kind of interesting. Uh, I do not have an iron helm, so I'm going to wear the iron helm. I'd like to wear it. Oh, right. There we go. I'd like to wear it, please. Same thing with this. Oh, back up, back up. There we go. Wait, what is this? Defiling touch. Oh yeah, here it is. Level 1 weapons, level 2 body armor and cloaks, level 3 shields. So I basically have to go into this this line with uh, defiling touch um, to get more, more levels. So basically at the beginning of the game, uh, curse just hurts you right off the bat. Grounding leather. Yep, I don't have a belt, so anything will do. Large white snake up north. There we go. Large white snake. Over to here. What was this? 40 stalking. So there's the stalking kicking in. Providing me with my buffs. And you see how it goes away whenever I switch targets. Okay, so I've got a sword and board, an iron long sword of daylight. You know what? I'm going to make an offset. What do I want? Acidic iron mace of corpses. Let's see which one of these. The mace, I think, is a bit better for me. And then also just the shield. There we go. Okay. Wait. I can't do shields? Oh, I can't, uh, I can't do an offhand. Interesting. Okay. Okay, let us level up. 
So I want to go deeper into Cursed Aura, definitely. Uh, and what does the second level of Gloom give us? So yeah, let's let's go deeper into Gloom. Uh, no, actually, let's, let's keep my my primary attack buffed up, and then one into each of the primary stats. Now I think last time with uh, with Duvar, uh, definitely that battle axe would be better. There we go. Definitely with Duvar, I think the the, the part that I was kind of laughing at when I when I reviewed the video was uh, <laughs> I said, "Oh, my defenses are holding fine," and then I get in there and. I, I was getting almost nearly two shot. It was just amazing how much damage those things were putting out. There we go. I was able to regen through that. Oh, the uh, yeah, poison ivy. I don't like these. They they don't shoot you or anything, but they force you to move manually. Brown snake to the, snake to the south. Uh, see what I mean? There we go. Ah, just a gem. Okay. There we go. Yeah, a hat. What do I think this is? Uh, at level 5, I can activate this talent to surround yourself with an aura that adds two levels to a curse of your choosing. Okay, so that lets me decide what curse I want to go into. See if other things got curse. Yeah, so now I've got Curse of Madness. Nothing on the belt yet. Yeah. Okay. So here, Curse of Madness, as you can see, Shrouds is the one that I had, uh, no. Yeah, Madness was from the weapon, Shrouds, Shroud of Weakness, small chance of becoming enveloped in a Shroud of Weakness, reduced damage dealt by 6% for 4 turns. So, basically you want to stack like curses to, uh, to get the benefits. And everything gets a curse. <laughs> There's a ring. No, I will not sing sing Johnny Cash. Stabilizing of dexterity. I will definitely wear that. Balanced iron dagger of this fortune. Oh, that's right. None of these work. Actually, I want to. Actually, I'm curious. Uh, where's my skills again? Character sheet, close enough. Okay. Talents. No. I am forgetting my uh, key bindings game options. Character sheet. I just want to get to the skills from here. This is what I get when I don't play this all the freaking time. Tab to switch between. Ah. T for talents? There. Yes. No. Yes. No. Let's take off item. Ah. To hack with it. Let's carry on. I'll figure it out in a minute. What I want to know is if keeping um, that shield, or how I would be able to, to get a shield. A sword and board setup. A rattlesnake, and I think I have to take a talent to do it, but I want to double check on that. Maybe Cursed can't take that talent. 
maybe it's racial. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, this is not good. Let's back off a bit. So this is the boss. Oh, that's not good. Heal. Um, I need that. Regenerate. Okay, heal again. Regenerate. <laughs> oh, that is not good. Well, let's try it once more. We've got a little bit of time left on the clock. See if I kind can do any better. Uh, sometimes that's the downside of roguelikes, where you you start off and you just did it. Did it keep? A, it looks like it kept all my same talents. So I wish it had kept them where they were. That would have been nice. Okay, get my two. Come on. There we go. Get this over here. And this time I'll actually do the healing infusion first. There we go. And... Hostile spotted south. Okay. Oh, I don't have either of my sustains on. There we go. Oh, the pink bar is hate. How cute. Pink is hate. Release your hate upon the object. There we go. So now I have misfortune. Psionic shield. Well, I don't have anything else, so I'll, I'll wear it at least. It'll give me uh, some uh, a, a defensive item here. So if I can pick it up and move it. Thank you. There we go. No wolves, you can come to me. There we go. What I might do in the future, I haven't uh, decided on this, but given how that uh, you, you can die early on, uh, like I just did, uh, maybe what I'll do early on, or, or uh, in the future, once we've seen all of the, the intro areas a couple of times, is uh, actually skip the intro areas until, or not skip them, but play them uh, off camera until like the first town usually your survivability goes up a little bit there and maybe that would be better than uh, seeing multiple deaths like that actually let's do the level up real quick one one and one another into cursed another one there uh, except changes yes i do He's down to the south. There we go. Uh, yeah, nothing there that I want. Well, yeah, nothing I want. There we go. Iron Mail of Acid Resistance, which is probably better than my plain Iron Mail. Yep. It at least gives me some Acid Resistance. Go figure. Let's see, there's the snake. Oh, it's 
that's behind me. You can come to me. There we go. Iron long sort of uh, erosion. Is this a two-handed weapon? No, it is not. Let the warm masses come into me. Flaming iron long sort of massacre. Actually, I might switch to that one. Let's get balanced. Accuracy defense. Actually, I'm going to go to the balanced iron sword, and it's only because it's got additional defense. Even though the other sword has got... Oh, well, actually, what I'm going to do is go to the offset and put the flaming sword here. There we go. Set. And I will switch to the flaming iron sword because this is a better attack. It has a burst on it. And so whenever I need defense, I'll actually switch over to the other long sword. So you see how I, I just did uh, damage to the uh, to the worm mass at the back. That's from the, this sword. So the sword is better for fighting groups. of dexterity. Definitely want to wear those. I'll wear it, the, the wizard hat just because it has uh, plus one defense on it. So this gives me physical save, mental save, plus three dex, more accuracy, more armor. Yeah, the, the, the roguelikes that really uh, get difficult to start up is when you play the squishier classes, the like the mage-type classes, just because they don't have the defenses early on. Later on, they get exceptionally powerful. But it's getting to the later on that I always have a problem with. Maybe it's just me, and I'm, I, I go too fast. Um, I just have a hard time with them. Okay, let us double check, let's see, cutting survival, so it looks like I cannot wield a shield, oh no no no, here it is, okay, so my armor training, once it gets to level 2, I can wear shield, okay, good to know, uh, I still want to go heavy into the primary attack here, I can get another Cursed Form, which I think will help, since I get healing. And let us continue on. Uh, just a normal Brass Lantern. Let's get this Poison Ivy. Oh, crap, there's the bear. Your heart hardens as a powerful foe enters your core. Plus 28. Interesting. Hmm. Well, no time like the present. Let's actually... There we go. And we'll do our... Heal. You fight through the pain, plus three hate, so you get more hate from pain. 
Interesting. Well, either this is going to be two deaths on this video, or no, 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 no. Okay. Wait, I've got this one. Pop that. There. Regen is available again. So I got... I killed the snake from the bursting. There we go. Ah. Okay, must explore the heart of gloom. Let's see what he gives me. Sludge grip. Rod of recall, you get that every time. Okay, so sludge grip. Where are you? Plus four cunning, plus four will. I would lose dexterity. Uh, I would get nature resistance, plus nature damage, plus poison immunity. Yeah, I think that's worth the, the one armor loss. Balanced iron battle axe of persecution. Let's see. Nope, doesn't do as much damage as my current weapon, which is one-handed, so... Or is it? Should be one-handed. Yeah, it's one-handed, so that, that battle axe is not that great. I can go a bit faster now. I'm pretty sure there's nothing in here that's going to give me uh, any serious threats. I just want to finish out the, the level. Acidic Iron Battle X with Shrouds. Again, less base power than my longsword. This longsword is just killer. Well, took care of the bear at least. And there we go. Let us pop out. I know there's nowhere left to explore. Um, yeah, nothing that I want. Did I gain another level? Why, yes I did. Well, what I'll do is, here is the Elven Town, which is kind of interesting. Uh, as you can see from the mini-map up in the corner, it uh, <laughs> branches out everywhere. So, on the next video, we will do the level up, and then we will also do some chopping, see what we can get here with the limited money that we have, and then try to find the second of the basic elf quests, which is the Heart of Galoon. Hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I'll see you later. Have fun.